everyone. I hope you guys are good. I have returned from LA and I am feeling pretty on fire, like pretty focused, um, pretty like clear, uh, inspired, you name it. It's all going really freaking awesome. And so I wanted to get on here and really um, invite you to have a conversation with me, right? So let's just invite some peeps into this um, because conversations are best when they're not one way, right? Um, so as you can see, I have returned to my office and here I am. Uh, here I am, um, back from some travels. So, oh, hello, Erin, my friend, tra my fellow traveler returning from Ireland. She's so funny. She's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it over here in Belfast. And I'm like, at the time, I'm in Mexico. And I'm like, I can't really get on board with, like, you're having fun in Belfast, given that I've been there. Um, and it's, it can be awesome, but it just, uh, was, it was kind of funny. We were two in two very polar opposite places at the same time. So thank you, Erin. I do feel rather golden right now. Um, and hello, Ruth. I hope that you are still online. Miss you lady. So, I wanted to have a conversation today, um, a little bit longer than I normally do, maybe try to keep it to under 10 minutes, but I wanted to talk to you about conscious money. Um, and like I said in the title, what the heck is that? I want to talk to you about consciously manifesting and managing your money. And when we play a role in our money creation, our money management, um, our manifestation of it, um, our navigation of it. We are, we are consciously navigating and calling in what it is we have set our intention for. So back up the bus because we're really, we're talking about setting an intention. And when I talked originally about not using the word budget anymore, um, and I kind of like, I said, well, I'm not going to use that word anymore. We're going to talk about your blueprint. I see the blueprint as even bigger now. I've got some clarity around that. Um, and I really feel it's an important step to set your intention around, um, what it is that, that what it is that you want, you need, you are calling in why that is the thing that you, um, are working towards or are, um, you know, why is that? Is there, does it align with your vision of your life? Does it align with what you feel is your sole purpose? Is it part of your spiritual vision, right? Very recently, um, I got very clear on my spiritual vision. So I will share it with you as an example. I used to think that, it was my spiritual vision um, to work with people to have more money in their lives. I thought I worked with creative entrepreneurs, um, you know, artists, speakers, authors, um, photographers, uh, all the people, right? Um, the, the intuitive people, the healers, the all of those people. Um, but then I have this other group of people that I work with. And they're like landscapers and like electricians and plumbers and like, I don't know, pe people like that, stores, clothing people, all those. And I was like, are, what, like there's these two groups of people. Well, what I realized is the common thread with those people is consciousness and is an awareness of their place, their role in this world and what they want to see is the change, right? So we've heard, you know, people say before, like, 
Martin Luther King, like be the change you want to see, right? So I realized that that thread in there, the thread, the common thread between the, you know, the tarot card reader and the landscaper was their belief that they are here for a purpose. And so where I got very clear recently, um, hello, Shauna. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Dave. Um, where I got clear recently is on the, the knowledge, the understanding that the people I truly support are people who have some kind of analytical, methodical background, and they've had a consciousness, a spiritual, a transformative experience, and they they feel that that needs to become a big, a bigger part of their business. So that's where I'm changing things a little bit, and I am not seeking just to help everybody, you know, Joe Blow, everybody in the world everybody I can help everybody but that's not who I'm talking to I'm actually talking to people who have had this awareness and it could be 10 years ago it could be yesterday they've had this awareness and now they have this awareness once you see this you can't unsee it and so how does their business navigate from this do they need to they feel this like inner turmoil in giving up the analytical side the spreadsheets the you know, the marketing, all this stuff, and to bring in this intuitive consciousness. Well, those two things can exist. But in the world, there's judgment on both sides. And so I help the entrepreneur who wants those two things to exist, and we marry them together. And I help them have a profitable business, because when they have money, they can be the change they want to see, right? So it, it's pretty... I'm very clear on that now. So I want I wanted you to see the the transformation that it took me and it's taken me probably a good year to really understand and kind of get to that point, but it is now my spiritual vision. My spiritual vision is to support conscious business in the world. That's a pretty big fucking vision, okay? Am I up for it? Wow, it feels big. But sh hell yeah, I'm up for it. Like, absolutely. Do I want to be the change I want to see in the world? Yes, I fucking do. So I am like leveling up and owning that. So there you go. That There's a little bit of that. And so for me, I've gotten very clear on it's not manifesting money. It's not like willing it to be it's not like this ma i talk sometimes it's not magical you got to take inspired action but it really is consciously manifesting and managing your money that's what the blueprint is all about that's what your conscious blueprint is all about like your conscious blueprint is everything but in regards to the money sector it that is what it is and we do that through awareness acceptance, responsibility, intention, integration, and we navigate the shit out of that, right? And that is what we do in Money Rockstars. Bam, drop the mic, right? So here's where you can make a change in your life tomorrow. I'm going to go live. I'm doing a webinar. We are going to talk about this. I'm going to teach you this is not like some kind of like sales pitchy thing. I'll invite you into Money Rockstar. Sure, if you want to do that, go for it. But I will actually teach you these three. Um, no, there are four. There's four things that you're doing right now that is stopping the flow like a big fucking rock slide into a river. And you need to you need to know what those things are. And you need to stop doing them. Simple as that. If you only if you only joined me for that and you only did that, well, then you're halfway there. You are on your way. And maybe you integrate your own tools. Maybe you join Money Rockstars. I don't know. But seriously, be the change you want to see in the world. Be it. Live it. Embody it. 
hold that intention. And it is an incredible release and incredibly powerful. And I really want you to encourage, I really want to encourage you to do that. And by fuck, you need money to do that. Okay, seriously, the amount of people I have met recently that are like, yeah, but you know, I'm doing this thing and I'm not in it for the money. Pardon? Do you have bills to pay? Do you have like, do you have to eat? Right? Like, is do you have some kind of magical like body that doesn't need food or nourishment or, you know, a house to live in, that kind of thing? You need money. You need money to invest, to learn more stuff. You need you need money to live, pay your bills, eat, have shelter, all that stuff. You need money to support the causes that you want to support. It is my intention that by the time I reach 60, I will be funding a Sea Shepherd Society vessel that will fight whaling. That is my intention. It is happening. I know it's going to be a lot of money. I don't even know how much. But that organization is, is the change. They are being the change they want to see, and they are out there doing it. And I believe in their cause. I don't believe in whaling, and I want it to stop. How can I do that? Well, I'm going to buy them a fucking boat, and I'm going to pay for the crew every year. And that's just what's going to happen. So I need money for that, right? And I'm not asking for free money. I'm I am, I am living my purpose so that the things that are important to me happen in this world so that I be the change. I really encourage you to do that because it is incredibly liberating and you can come hang out with me and be the change all day long if you want to. <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, let's see who's commenting. Oh, Shauna. I love Shauna. She's amazing. Need to see you soon, lady. Miss your incredible energy. Um, by fuck, you need money to do that. Oh my God, Aaron. I know it's ridiculous. Um, Aaron, I'm going to need some new art soon. I love, I love, love, love my owl which is painted by my friend Aaron um, uh, but I'm gonna need some more so get your little paintbrush going anyways I really um, I really really want to help you change your bank balance that's what it comes down to and I feel like I have um, I don't know it all I don't have every single one of the answers, but I'm learning and I have like, I'm like, I feel like I'm 80, 85% of the way there. There's a couple of things I've yet to unlock and I know that they will come over the next little while while I continue to do my own work and I continue to expand. So if you want to join us in Money Rockstars, you can, but I really encourage you to join me tomorrow for the free training and um, hang out with me. So yeah, that is conscious money. I feel like maybe I deviated from the theme, but oh well, that's life. In Canada, I hope you are enjoying your um, Victoria Day weekend and in everywhere else, I think, I feel like it's a holiday in the UK as well. I think everywhere else it's not, but I will see you guys later. Oh yay, Shauna! Yay, come hang out tomorrow. That will be awesome. I'll see you guys later. Oh, hey, one more thing. I have a YouTube channel, and you can see all my videos on there. And people keep saying, remind people that you have a YouTube channel, because I watch your videos all the time on there. So I do have a YouTube channel. It's Michelle B. Cooper. Um, and tonight at 6 o'clock, I have a live radio show. It's my first episode. It's um, The radio show is called Money Rockstars. Um, my first episode is me being interviewed by a gentleman named Michael who is going to help me introduce the theme of the show. And um, I thought it was a great way to start this new exciting thing in my business, my life. Um, we're, we're having all the conversations around money. If you want to be on my show, call me, call me. 
text me, PM me, be on my show. See you guys. <laughs>